I've been thinking a lot recently about which language to start to learn next. For me, starting to learn a new language is probably one of the most exciting and easiest parts of the entire process. In those early moments when you unlock a new way of communicating and you get to tap into new cultures and people, it really is incredible. But I've also found that often excitement can fade with time. Reaching a level of proficiency in any language requires you to stay motivated for months, if not years or decades. So I want to make sure that any languages that I start to learn from here on out are useful to me both now and in the future. And to understand which languages are useful to me, I want to develop a simple algorithm. This algorithm will produce a score for each language ranging from 0 for the least useful to 100 for the most useful. The final score will take into account six key factors that I think make a language valuable to learn. Number one, communication. For this, the algorithm uses the number of people across the world that use this language as their first or second choice to communicate. Number two, Culture. I'm using a cultural influence index that takes into account factors like fashion, architecture, and way more importantly, food. Number three, economy. In other words, how rich can you get if you learn this language? Money brings education and career opportunities, and it can pay for technologies which I can nerd out about. For this, I'm using the GDP of countries where the language is officially spoken. Number four, geography. In how many countries is this language officially spoken? Number five, tourism. I wanted to take into account how likely I am to visit a country and use this language. For this, I'm using the number of tourists that visit countries where the language is official. Number six, passport strength. In the off chance that I want to become a citizen of a country where the language is spoken, the final score takes into account how many visas a passport would unlock for me. I'd love to see someone take what I've started and personalize it or make it more powerful. I'll make sure to link to the code in the description of this video. Without further ado, it's about to get official in here. This is the top 10 most useful languages ranked. Number 10, Japanese. With over 125 million speakers and a passport that offers visa-free access to more than 190 countries, from the neon-lit energy of Tokyo to the tranquil beauty of Kyoto, Japan welcomes over 30 million tourists annually. As a global leader in technology, entertainment and cultural trends, learning Japanese opens doors to exciting business prospects and a rich cultural heritage. Number 9. German Germany is the economic powerhouse of Europe and German is the most spoken native language in the EU. If you're looking for career opportunities in engineering, business or academia, this is a must-learn language. With Germany's strong passport and a high GDP influence, speaking German could give you a major advantage in the global job market. Number 8. Arabic – Modern Standard Spoken across the Middle East and North Africa, Arabic is the official language of over 25 countries. From business in Dubai to cultural exploration in Egypt, Arabic opens doors to a vast and diverse region. It's also the language of Islam, making it significant for religious and historical studies. Number 7. Portuguese with 265 million speakers across multiple continents, Portuguese is a powerhouse language. It's spoken in Portugal, Brazil and several African nations, making it one of the most geographically widespread languages in the world. Brazil alone boasts a massive economy and is a cultural hotspot, from samba and carnival to football legends like Pelé and Neymar. If you're drawn to one of the best surf scenes globally, or you're a digital nomad looking for your next hot desk, Portugal has you covered. 
with Lisbon emerging as a top destination for young professionals. Whether you're exploring South America or Europe, Portuguese is a top pick. Number 6. Hindi Hindi enables you to communicate with a lot of people, as it's the third most spoken language in the world with over 600 million speakers. As India's economy rapidly grows, knowing Hindi could give you an advantage in one of the most dynamic markets on the planet. While English is widely used in business, Hindi opens doors to deeper cultural connections and opportunities in Bollywood, tech and trade. Number 5. Italian Italy may not have the most speakers, but it dominates in cultural influence. If you love art, fashion, music and cuisine, Italian is a beautiful and rewarding language to learn. Italy's strong passport, tourism appeal and global influence in design and luxury brands make it a fantastic choice. Penso che sia una lingua bellissima. Number 4. Mandarin Chinese Mandarin is arguably the most spoken language in the world with over a billion native speakers. China's economy is massive and learning Mandarin could give you a serious edge in global business. Beyond business, China offers a rich cultural history from ancient philosophies like Confucianism to world famous cuisine and traditional arts. If you're open to exploring a diverse and evolving cultural landscape, Mandarin is a key to unlocking it. However, it's one of the hardest languages to learn, so be prepared for a challenge. Number 3. French French is spoken across Europe, Africa and the Americas. With a strong passport, high cultural influence and global business opportunities, it's one of the best choices for travel and diplomacy. From Paris to Montreal to Dhaka, French will take you places. Number 2. Spanish with over 500 million speakers, Spanish is one of the most useful languages for travel and business. It's spoken across Latin America, Spain and even the US. Whether you're backpacking through South America or working in international trade, Spanish is a top tier choice. Number 1. English No surprise here, English remains the most powerful language in the world. It's the global language of business, science and entertainment. With 1.5 billion speakers and a dominant economy and the strongest passport rankings, English is king. So I guess I'll be learning Spanish next? Make sure to subscribe if you want to keep updated on that. If you already know what language you're going to be learning next, please let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck on your language learning journey and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.